Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, we're going to go show you our recent little find of some cast iron, and we're going to restore it for you, so stay tuned. So my aunt has been bugging me for a couple years now to come out to her place and get some of my late uncle's cast iron he has stored in his barn. Now I went out there a while back and I found that old Griswold skillet that was down low where I could get to. It was half full of water. Um, you'll see that a little bit later in the video. But everything else was way up high and he had like screwed off to the, the rafters and stuff. So today we're going to get the ladder. I'm going to go out there and try to get all of it down bring it back here we want to see what's savable and see what's not but that's what this video is about hey those those old finds you might find from family members that might look like they're just total junk you might be surprised you need that old saw that's up there uh-uh uh-uh you ain't never gonna get these old things clean, honey. You'd be surprised. Now they wasn't. I they got wasn't, dirt dollar nest in it. Now they wasn't bad when he, he put them all up there. I'd gone to Grandma's one day and he'd come home and he had got one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, Mama. Let's see. This pot's full of water, no wonder. Yep. God. Ten years or so. Uh, it might be. Okay. They ain't pitted out too bad. Oh my lord. Yep. We'll look at them and see which ones are okay. savable. If they ain't okay. savable, we'll, we'll throw them out. Skillet. Here, give me this one right here. Give me that big pan. Another Dutch oven. <laughs> this one here looks pretty old. It's kind of bellied out. It's kind of different. Because Chris was going to haul all this stuff to the dump. I said, no, no. All right, let's go get the first pan out of the fire. A little skillet. All right. That's how we know it's done. It's glowing. Okay, got the coals out. I'm not going to take it directly out. I'm just going to like set it off to the side. Let it temper out a minute. And we'll get the next one, which is going to be this big old belly pot. Kind of lost it here. I'm gonna build a fire up around it. Gonna do the same thing with it. Alright, so it's the next morning. Here's all the items that we burned out. Um, some of these, man, I'm telling you, pretty rough. That's a that's a newer lodge Dutch oven. Uh, I had water sitting in it for God knows how long. We're going to look at it uh, here in a minute. We do a little bit more rough cleaning on it. Now these other items that I had in there did great. There's a little, I cleaned that up enough to see that this is a BSR number 5 skillet. Uh, that'll make a great pan. The corn, the corn uh, bread cooker deal, that's got all the season burn off of it. it beautiful now these other two things you noticed how they turned white what concerns me about that is this was painted um, it was old it probably sold it in a 
antique store or something like that and instead of seasoning it they painted it and that's why it's turned white we're going to see whether or not it's going to, that's going to strip off at all same with the uh the kettle now that it burned off you see it's got a big crack in it that somebody's tried to epoxy it or jb weld it or something right there to dress it up and you see that still got some i think they painted it all right that's why this rust is blistering underneath it so either way we may end up painting that one um i'm going to try to clean them up and again these two here may end up just getting painted i wish i could really get this one this just has a really heavy bottom to it and uh, you see it's got the mold mark there number four i really wish i could clean that one up this one i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it if it don't clean up real easy but I'm just going to use a combination of things and we'll start with this little skillet first now i got one of these little bristle brushes on a drill and uh this makes pretty quick work of getting in there and getting the rust out of it and i've already worn this one down quite a bit doing this very thing matter of fact i got a beautiful griswold i got a beautiful griswold that came from this same collection uh which i'll drop you uh, a picture of that here uh above check it out it was uh in worse shape than this one it had water sitting in it when i got it worse shape than this one when i got it and now you if you look at the pick it's a great skillet just cooked eggs in it this morning let's clean this up Alright, so I got those three items cleaned up pretty good. Skillet, the little cornbread thing maker, which I've never been able to get that thing to work. I believe this one is a lodge. Doesn't have any marking on it anywhere. Um, and I did get all the paint and crap off of this thing, which I'm pretty sure it was paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it right now. It's pretty interesting forge marks on it. Um, I got most of the bad rust out of it. I don't think we're ever going to get it to cooking level. But you never know. You never know. So, I'm just going to rinse them. I'll get the remaining surface rust. You can always take your, your little, little steel wool get any especially on your right on your bottom of your skillet I like to get that nice and clean so, it's looking 100 percent better All right, go ahead and wipe them clean cleaned up pretty nice just with the wire brush a little bit of water Again, if anybody knows anything about this pot, please let me know down in the comments. Um, seems to have this forge mark all the way around the outside. Um, can't tell where the handle was actually forged to the pot or if it was forge welded. Um, it's belly to pot. It's pitted pretty bad. It had a lot of water in it for a while. We might go and give it one more final scrub, but I'm starting to see the bare cast iron in there. But you probably get a little cleaner. This process does not require you to get every speck of rust off of your cast iron to re-season it. using uh, lint free painters rags towels disposable towels to dry those off and that little BSR that's gonna come out great not too bad for been sitting in a barn all right so I've got our three pieces out here on the, the island 
and I've warmed them up over on the propane burner to make sure that they're 100% dry. So what I got here now, this is flaxseed oil and found this makes a very very good initial season for these cast iron pieces. It has a very high burning temperature. Weber kettle grill. I got a pretty good layer of charcoal in there. Got it turned up on all the way. Put my pieces in upside down. Grab the last one of corn. Except for the corn tray. I'm gonna put it in there right side up. Make sure they're not touching each other. I got a good clean burn lump charcoal in there. I'm gonna let it get up to 500, 550 degrees. I have the second run of the Weber kettle grill. And there's the large Dutch oven. Looking beautiful. About time to take it out. I'm gonna keep this grill going too. I'm gonna grill some red snapper on it a little bit. So far today, we have been restored quite a bit of this cast iron hull. We got a number 10 Dutch or 10 inch, 10 and a half inch Dutch oven. Uh, you know, this is an in the house Dutch oven, I call it. And this lid is also fits all your 10 and a half inch um, cast iron pans perfectly. So probably use that more than we ail the actual pot. But I needed one of those. The only one I had was for 12. So that that Dutch oven is in great, great shape. Uh, inside and out right now. It's like almost like brand new again. We got a number five BSR. A little eight and a half inch pan. We've got, I don't even know what brand it is corn cob sticks for your muffins um, if anybody knows the trick to keep them things from sticking in there please leave a comment below and then we got this big old belly pot it's quite interesting and I've gotten it perfectly seasoned I managed to get the slick up a little bit in the bottom there all right we had a couple more pieces a few we're going to bail on I'm going to show you those right now so the big cauldron pot's got a huge crack and it goes way down there. See it right there. Somebody tried to JB weld it and they painted it just like they did that belly pot. And the Dutch oven I got over in the fire. It's another old Dutch oven. Don't know what brand. Does not not mark. But it was so rusted that the actual handles fell off of it. Again, that can go to scrap pile along with this guy. Might use for a flower, flower, flower pot or something. I don't know. And then the last Dutch oven, which was also painted, is still over in the fire, getting uh, all burnt off. So we're gonna do that, save that guy for a different day. It's all in all, it's been pretty successful. Again, if anybody knows anything about these pots, any information on how old it might be, that seems to be pretty old. They never can tell these days. There's no markings on it at all. There seem to be like a one one stamped in the bottom. Um, that's all I can see on it. And 
stamp number four, it's molded in number four up in on the top handle. No idea, no information. So basically we got all this stuff for free. Just took a little time to restore it. Uh, this Dutch oven worth about $45 to $50. This little this little pan here, even in today's antique market, that would probably go for about 40 bucks. This guy here, not real valuable. It said most of these ended up on the wall because they didn't work that well. I actually had you know one right up there. Uh, and again, no idea on this guy right here. So let me know if you got any info on these things. So overall we were able to restore really nicely four of the seven pieces that we got there today uh, unfortunately some of those things were just I mean way beyond uh, ever making them a useful item again now they could still be a decorative item or whatever but not that we're going to fool with that we're probably just going to go ahead and just send those on out to the curb but it just shows you that just so because it, it looks bad when you first see it does not mean you cannot turn that back into a very very useful and well restored item with just a little bit of effort that good old fire bath we give them in the front end and a little seasoning on the back end so if you like what we're doing please smash that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel you can do right over here for another great backwoods gourmet video it's gonna be right there and for a whole playlist cast iron dutch oven cooking be right there we'll see you next time